in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, most merciful, and declare, the truth has come, and falsehood has vanished. Indeed, falsehood is bound to vanish. We send down the Quran as a healing and mercy for the believers, but it only increases the wrongdoers in loss. When we grant people our favors, they turn away, acting arrogantly. But when touched with evil, they lose all hope. Say, O Prophet, everyone acts in their own way, but your Lord knows best whose way is rightly guided. They ask you, O Prophet, about the Spirit. Say, its nature is known only to my Lord, and you, O humanity, have been given but little knowledge. If we willed, we could have certainly taken away what we have revealed to you, O Prophet, then you would find none to guarantee its return from us, had it not been for the mercy of your Lord. Indeed, his favor upon you is immense. Say, O Prophet, if all humans and jinn were to come together to produce the equivalent of this Quran, they could not produce its equal, no matter how they supported each other. And we have truly set forth every kind of lesson for humanity in this Quran, Yet most people persist in disbelief. They challenge the prophet. We will never believe in you until you cause a spring to gush forth from the earth for us or until you have a garden of palm trees and vineyards and cause rivers to flow abundantly in it or cause the sky to fall upon us in pieces as you have claimed or bring Allah and the angels before us face to face or until you have a house of gold or you ascend into heaven. And even then, we will not believe in your ascension until you bring down to us a book that we can read. Say, Glory be to my Lord, am I not only a human messenger? And nothing has prevented people from believing when guidance comes to them except their protest. Has Allah sent a human as a messenger? Say, O Prophet, had there been angels walking the earth, well settled, we would have surely sent down for them an angel from heaven as a messenger. Say, Sufficient is Allah as a witness between me and you. He is certainly all-knowing, all-seeing of his servants. Whoever Allah guides is truly guided, and whoever he leaves to stray, you will find no guardians for them besides him, and we will drag them on their faces on the day of judgment, deaf, dumb and blind. Hell will be their home whenever it dies down. We will flare it up for them. That is their reward for rejecting our signs and asking mockingly. When we are reduced to bones and ashes, will we really be raised as a new creation? Have they not realized that Allah, who created the heavens and the earth, can easily recreate them? He has already set for them a time about which there is no doubt. But the wrongdoers persist in denial. Say to them, O Prophet, even if you were to possess the infinite treasuries of my Lord's mercy, then you would certainly withhold them, fearing they would run out, for humankind is ever stingy. We surely gave Moses nine clear signs. You, O Prophet, can ask the children of Israel. When Moses came to them, Pharaoh said to him, I really think that you, O Moses, are bewitched. Moses replied, You know well that none has sent these signs down except the Lord of the heavens and the earth as insights, and I really think that you, O Pharaoh, are doomed. So Pharaoh wanted to scare the Israelites out of the land of Egypt, but we drowned him and all of those with him and we said to the children of Israel after Pharaoh, Reside in the land, but when the promise of the hereafter comes to pass, we will bring you all together. We have sent down the Quran in truth, and with the truth it has come down. We have sent you, O Prophet, only as a deliverer of good news, and a warner it is a Quran. We have revealed in stages, so that you may recite it to people at a deliberate pace and we have sent it down in successive revelations. Say, O Prophet, believe in this Quran, or do not. Indeed, 
when it is recited to those who were gifted with knowledge before it was revealed, they fall upon their faces in prostration and say, Glory be to our Lord. Surely the promise of our Lord has been fulfilled. And they fall down upon their faces weeping, and it increases them in humility. Say, O Prophet, call upon Allah, or call upon the Most Compassionate. Whichever you call, He has the most beautiful names. Do not recite your prayers too loudly or silently, but seek a way between. And say, All praise is for Allah, who has never had any offspring, nor does He have a partner in governing the kingdom, nor is He pathetic, needing a protector, and revere Him immensely.